Hello Internet, welcome back to our fire series, Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. We're out looting, we're finding a lot of cockroaches, which at this point we don't need more chitin, so I don't really think there's any reason to be harvesting them for chitin. We have an army helmet. Uh, we maybe could make a uh, chitin helmet, just because, uh, well, we can just repair the army helmet pretty infinitely, because it's just metal, right? Kevlar and plastic, I mean, they're not the easiest. You know, Kevlar can be a little tricky to find, but not really. And it has better bash and cut than the, the helmet would have. So, yeah, I think I think the army helmet is fine. I don't think we need more chitin. Kill some zombies. see quite a few zombies up there, actually. Not a lot by any means, but there's a few. Clear them out. Last episode, we talked about some dark stuff I maybe shouldn't have talked about. So in this episode, let's uh, pull it back to something lighter. Uh, I have to record uh, another experimental cataclysm video, probably tomorrow. I have not done any research, so that is a hassle. Sometimes those episodes... So basically, uh, so if you don't know, I do experimental cataclysm. You probably know. Uh, it's basically a show where we talk about updates that have come to the game. A, and I do it every two weeks or so. That guy's going to break in the window. That's okay. Uh, oh, hello, pupper. Um, do you have a harness on you? No? Okay, well. Uh, toolbox. Great. We already have one, but sure. Take it. Bricks? No, thank you. Duct tape? Definitely. Okay. Did you not break out the window? You, he decided at the last moment he's going to be courteous and not break the windows. Let's come over here. Check this house as well. Be careful as we approach the road in any given location. Some of the curtains are closed. That's interesting. Yeast will take. Rice will take. Potato will take. I mean, I guess we'll just convert that to more seeds. Although at this point, I have no real interest in farming and feel like we should probably just move away. Maybe we should double down on having a, like a stable base because so often I end up getting in the car, hitting the road, and then I get bored and don't want to play anymore. So maybe we should build like a permanent base just focus on that instead. Weird that y'all keep your phones here. I guess also weird. What is this? Two separate tables. Okay. Uh, Autonomous Crows 2 turret. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you at, bud? Let's look for the turret. Nope. You're not a turret. Turret. Yeah. All them corpses. Big surprise. So it shouldn't be bothering with us at all pretty far away under the hood we already have uh what are you just glass jars okay crafty i guess check your foyer nah don't need anything out of there check the basement of course then we'll head upstairs uh sometimes those videos are fine we'll grab this for like a proper it's an 80 pound sewer snake so i'm guessing they're mutated as well can we butcher in the dark no yeah, I imagine they don't give regular meat since it's an 80 pound snake, but we'll check it. Um, there's nothing, does it say in the description? No, show me the corpse, just the dead body. Yeah, so we should have looked at it first. It doesn't, nothing on the corpse hints that it's a mutant body. I wish there was a flag that would pop up in that description. Like instead of saying it's a dead body, it would say it's a mutant carcass or something like that. So that we would have a little bit more indicator. Go ahead and pick it up. It's heavy, but we can carry it upstairs. And we'll check it. You're overburdened. Yes, I literally was just talking about it. Go ahead and drop. Where are you? Pulped corpse. Oh, I pulped it? I didn't mean to pulp it. Go ahead and quick butcher it. I imagine it's mutant meat. Yeah, mutant meat. Okay. Uh, it's still weird that they give non-mutant uh, organs. I really don't like that. I wish they would... Uh, they would fix that and give uh, mutant organs as well as human organs and add them to the game. I've thought about doing that for a long time, but I'm just so lazy. Okay. Don't need to drink anything. Uh, we, we have like three wrenches as well as uh, pliers and toolboxes, so we don't need that. Yeah, next game we're definitely going to turn down the item settings since they haven't been nerfed yet. Um, actually, no. Next game is probably going to be a tutorial playthrough. Decided that a while back, assuming I'm still interested in that when I get to my next series. Sometimes I lose interest in things uh, pretty dang quickly. I think we've hit all of these at this point. So, we'll, oh, we didn't go upstairs. Well, it's probably just a bedroom and nothing we want, but we'll go up there. 
Just because. How often do you find houses with second floors? Open. Just go in the wind. No. Open. Go in the window. Yeah, sometimes those episodes are a real hassle if I haven't been doing my research. If I am, like, actively checking the GitHub every day, which I haven't been lately, then it's not a big deal. But since I haven't been doing that, it's like, well, now I gotta devote, like, an hour. It's not a lot of time. It's just not fun, right? Like, when I do Cataclysm videos, it's fun because I'm playing Cataclysm, which is a great game. When it's the, the GitHub, you know, Experimental Cataclysm video, it's it's not exciting it's me reading a bunch and then relaying that information to you oftentimes i'm scatterbrained so it doesn't really come across very well it's honestly the production quality on those videos is terrible it's a lot of just me rambling i don't love them but they're popular on the channel they get more views than my average cataclysm videos do so it's like i'm not gonna stop doing it you know might as well keep doing it um, plus, I keep up with the game development anyway, so it's like most of the time I, I know what I'm, you know, most of the time I already know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, can we climb this? I'm a little nervous climbing this. Climb east. Nothing. Climb down. Can't climb down. There's no terrain above you that would support your weight. Climb down. Yes. Climb down. You have problems? Yes. Okay. Safe and sound. How's our inventory holding up? 28. We can explore a little bit more. No big deal. Hit some of these across the street, I guess. I think this is where the cockroaches were. No? Man, the, the road seems so empty. Uh, this is the second Cataclysm game where my monster... Please don't break. Please don't... Please don't send me back to the menu. Okay, so basically this is trying to spawn um, dressers with uh, clothing in them, but it was having an issue doing so. I'm not sure why. Uh, so thankfully it did not break the game. Let's save just because. Cocaine in your fireplace, of course. The natural place to put cocaine. Uh, so yeah, I gotta record that probably tomorrow. And then... Oh, I don't know. Come on, pupper. I don't know what I'll do. You know, I think I'm going to, like, do some research and see if I can track down another small YouTuber who plays, like, Cataclysm and then see if I can get a collaboration where, like... So Cataclysm, obviously, is a game where you can't really... Like, there's no seed. Like, even if you share saves, there's a lot of random generated stuff that would be different. But, like... I really just want someone to talk to while I'm playing so I'm not talking to myself the whole time and rambling about nonsense. So like even if I could just find a small YouTuber who like is this the mailman again? It is. This is not a good don't judge. It's fine. I'm not a fan of that particular pre-generated thing. Give me the duct tape. Um, yeah, and even if we, like, were both just playing Cataclysm and talking to each other, I think I would prefer that. Literally empty gun safe. Awesome. Love when that happens. Check the basement. Same with, like, I've been playing Slay the Spire, Binding of Isaac. Really, if anyone plays any of those things, we could share seeds. I, th I think Slay the Spire has seeds. And then you could just play the same game and talk to each other while you're playing. And it's like, I don't know, it would give... It would be a different kind of content that I don't have on the channel. When I started YouTube, one of my things that was like an ultimate goal of mine was to do collaborations. Because again, I watch Northern Lion, who does a lot of collaborations with a group of streamers. And those are like my favorite episodes or when he's with other people. Like he's a funny dude and I really like his content. But his best stuff is when he's with his friends, right? They have the best banter. You know, it keeps the conversation flowing, all kinds of stuff like that. That's really good. And so I want that. I want that for my content. And uh, the only Cataclysm YouTuber I know is Vormithrax. And one, he and I don't seem like we have a lot in common. And two, he's way bigger than me, so I doubt he would do a collaboration with me. And again, I'm not super interested in doing a collaboration with him. I'd rather do it with someone who's small, like me, who has no recognition. We could help each other grow. 
Whereas if I say I say I did something with Vormthrax, one of two things is going to happen. Either he is going to be giving me a lot of attention because he's a big YouTuber in the Cataclysm space and I am not, so it would open more people up to my channel and he might like end up losing viewers. Or the opposite would happen where people would watch me and be like, you know what? I don't really like murder that much. He talks about dark stuff and, and Vormithrax is much more analytical and, and cold. You know, he's less talking about his personal life and stuff like that. And then I would lose viewers to him. And so I, I kind of feel like I want someone more in my space where we could benefit each other. I don't know. I guess that would still happen. I don't know. And I don't know where you go to find collaborations. I, I don't like the idea of just cold emailing people and being like, hey, we've never met and you don't even know my name and you've probably never seen my content, but hey, we should make videos together. Um, which is basically what it is now if I, if I do that. More roaches, a lot of roaches. And all of them are pregnant, which bothers me as well because then I have all these little ones to deal with. Do roaches have something that could make us nauseous? I still don't understand why we were nauseous. I don't think so. More roaches, yay. More roach babies, yay. Get out of here. Uh, again, if we needed more chitin, this would be fine, but we don't, so it's like... Just kind of murdering a bunch of annoying little bugs. At this point, the only thing that's going to take damage is our like legs mostly maybe our eyes will get hit occasionally but like we have the best torso armor there is um our arm guards are okay not great uh and our legs are also okay not great but yeah good god so many roaches yeah i don't know if this is uh somebody has created a house with the roaches that spawn by default and uh, it's just a little too common, or if they're working on getting vermin functional again. That seems unlikely because of the feature freeze, but um, basically at one point in the game, rotten materials would spawn roaches and other small vermin, uh, but then they turned it off. It still exists in the game, it's just been turned off because they were spawning in just massive numbers. It needed a lot of tweaking, a lot of balancing, and no one ever did it, so it's like they just turned it off. Looks like a big empty house. Real disappointing. Okay, head down here. We should really be marking these as we explore. Yeah, I think we've hit both of these. Yeah, one's empty, one we hit. Up, oh, outdoor water heater. Kind of weird that it's not accessible from the interior. Honey, we'll take... Uh, I mean, we came out here for chitin, and we found that. We really don't need to keep looting. But I'm going to keep looting. So, hey, if you're watching this and you're like, man, I'd love to play games with murder, and I'm a small YouTuber too, then you should definitely contact me. There is an email on my YouTube page. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. I almost never check it, but I will check it in the near future because I'm probably going to send out messages to people and see if anyone wants to play a game, you know? I don't know if Discord servers cost money. Someone told me they don't. After Someone mentioned, I think I mentioned it in the content, someone asked me if I had a uh, Discord server, and I said, no, like, uh, I'm not a good YouTuber. I, I, I don't have anything. Uh, and then I went and looked at it, and I, I don't, it, someone said they're free. And if they're free, I'm probably going to make one just so I have a place where I can set up a private voice channel so that I could potentially you know, collaborate with someone. And then if other people wanted to join, that would be fine as well. Although I'm not on Discord as much as I used to be. We would have to pry these, reinforced, boarded up. Pry, pry these open, pry. Oh, no pry? How do I, it's a construct, no, you activate toolbox, pull nails. Can't pry that. Okie doke, Never mind then. We're going to see if we can swing around to the front, see what the monster density looks like. Quite a few of them, including a boomer, which is not great, but not scary. Boomers are pretty useless. Um, I was going to do an enemy spotlight on them and then cancel that series more or less because it's just a ton of work. It's like six hours of work for a ten minute video. And I just... Uh, did you... I thought you blew up. My mistake. We'll back off. 
We're boomer, but we're not nauseous. Hello. There's more coming. We'll be fine. Come on. They're really weak. They can't really do any damage. The fact that they boomer you is really low tier ability. It doesn't do much. Uh, and the chance of it making you nauseous and throwing up is very tiny. Uh, fire truck here. Which would have been good on like day two. But at this point, really don't need... It might have been the gas that made us nauseous previously, but I thought that only poisons you. Okay, must be a butcher shop nearby that we're getting so many gas bags. Unless their uh, evolutions were changed so that they're more common. So I don't really know why we're... Would, why we would see two of them in such close proximity outside of the butcher shop rest, uh, location. Doesn't look like there's a butcher shop. I guess they do just spawn from evolutions now. I thought they didn't uh, spawn from evolutions. We already have this. Yeah, so like the fire truck would be good. Apparently it's hazy in there because of all the firefighter gear. But we, we have access to a bunch of it already. Uh, and we've already kind of evolved to the point where we don't need firefighter gear. So I don't know that it's worth it to pick any of them up. They're good for Nomex, but I don't really need Nomex. Except for repairing firefighter gear. So I don't know that that's even really worth doing. Yep, this is the survivor house. So no thank you. Oh, we never made a pickaxe. That's right. I was going to make a pickaxe and go hunting for labs. Of course, our city is huge. So there's no labs here. We'd have to drive off through the woods. We drive off through the field, I mean. And uh, try to break for the country. We probably should hit the road a little bit. I mean, once you reach a certain point in the game, mark this, nope, Survivor House. Once you reach a certain point in the game where you've looted the immediate area, you kind of need to go looting. Yes, we could be self-sustainable and just like make a bunch of food and grow our own food and stuff. But like at that point, the game becomes boring because you're not encountering new enemies and you're just farming over and over, which I did before, but it gets old. Yes, stop. So your head pains you. Why, though? Badly poisoned in our head. I mean, the chance of pain and hurting us is very small. I think uh, it has a chance to cause damage every tick, every time it ticks over, but it's not a very high chance. So, for the most part, we'll be fine. It will work its way out of our system in a little bit of time. You were hurt. Ignore. So there, it hurt us again. Another pair of pliers we really don't need. Let's back off and just have a rest. Give me five minutes. Ignore. Ignore. Are you still hurting? Badly poisoned. Give me... I thought it was so temporary. Wait another five minutes. You were hurt. Is it affecting our health? It is damaging us. It's lasting uh, a really long time. I don't think there's like anything you can do about it. Ignore. So I don't think we can, we'll die from it. And it seems to be out of our system. It's interesting. It's interesting. I haven't really had to deal with that in a long time. Okay, what are you? You're a sponge. You look like a pancake, but I'll accept that you are a sponge. Give me the bandages. Kind of a mediocre house. Check the kitchen, I guess. Marshmallows, I really don't need more junk food. Tub of ice cream, rotten, melted. Yeah, that sounds sounds about right. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I would like to do collaborations. There's so much of a limitation on what I can record, though. You know, like I record Cataclysm. Get out of here, Rosebush. Um, I record Cataclysm, a lot of low tier games that are easy to record. Because my hardware is not amazing. And like, like I was going to record Project Zomboid because it's very similar. But I had issues recording that. I was going to record Mass Effect recently, but I had issues recording that. You know, and it's always like every time I get excited to play something, it ends up not working for me. So I've been playing a lot of these low tier games, you know, obviously Slay the Spire is not 
something that's like very CPU intensive, so it's not a big deal to play that. And Isaac is a very low tier game, and Cataclysm is a very low tier game. And I got the capture card, which I still have not used. I bought it and was like, I'm gonna play a bunch of Xbox games. And then I was like, oh wait, no one cares. No one wants to watch you play Xbox games because they're like, like everything I would play is way past its prime. And because it's on the Xbox, their graphics are worse. So like if I play, you know, like Dead Space 2, let's say on Xbox, it's going to look worse than if someone played it on the PC and it's not a popular game. So people aren't going to watch it anyway. And uh, the only thing I really, I, I think I'm going to play, well, I don't want to say. Every time I say, hey, I'm going to play this game, then it ends up falling through and I end up not playing it. And then people are like, oh, I thought you were going to play that game. But uh, I was going to play Dishonored, which I don't know if people care about. And then I was going to play Alien Isolation, because I've never played Alien Isolation. And I heard it was super good. Why can't I make this? I have 72 of 29. Did I not bring Kitan back with me? Didn't didn't I harvest like a million pieces of Kitan? I must not have picked them up. That's pretty dumb of me. Let's go get some Kitan. We killed all those roaches and said, oh, I don't need Kitan ever again. And then I turned out I didn't even pick it up. Uh, you're a roach house. What's up? Just uh, pull a bunch of their corpses together here. Let's full butcher everything. Take an hour. It'll give us a lot of chitin. I thought I butchered and picked up a ton of chitin. Maybe I didn't pick them all up. I don't know. Yeah, I heard Alien Isolation was like really good. And it's a space game. And I've been really into like space games lately. I would like a little bit more chitin. Go ahead and butcher this one as well. Heard it was great. It's a horror game. It's in space. It's I love the Alien franchise. I always have. Even the games that were really bad, I liked them. Uh, you know, uh, I was going to play Alien vs. Predator as well for the game, uh, for this channel because I had a craving to play it. And then it turns out that OBS can't record it because it's a very old DirectX. And uh, I couldn't get it to record smoothly. So, uh, But now that I have the capture card, I can actually feed the computer into the capture card and then the capture card back into the computer and record with the capture card software, which would then circumvent the need for OBS, which would then record everything on screen which would allow me to record Alien vs. Predator. But that's a lot of work for a game that nobody cares about. <laughs> Even I, who is a fan of that, I played that a lot when I was a kid. It's not a great game. The controls are wonky. Uh, you basically get instant killed by anything in the game that gets a little bit frustrating. It's super old. It's super ugly. No one would care if I played that game. Um, <laughs> and so it's always like a challenge, too, to find what do people want to watch, you know? Um, like I like I said in a previous episode, I started recording uh, what's it called, Legend of Keepers, which uh, is like a free to play thing on Steam. And I was like, as I recorded it, I was like, it's kind of a, like a roguelite, and you know, it has some cool art. You know, maybe people would like this. I made two of them. I had already made a chitinous armor, so that's where my chitin went. Okay. Let's lose the vest. Drop the vest. Super dumb. Super dumb of me. Go ahead and wear the chitin armor. So, we... Let's take a look here. Torso. The packs conflict. Not a big deal. Head, fine. Eyes, weird but fine. Arms, elbow pads, chitin arm guards. They're both strapped, but the plus two is worth it. Considering that elbow guards have zero encumbrance. So, like, this effectively raises that to two encumbrance, but it gives a lot of protection. So, we're definitely going to wear it. Hands, we have nothing. Legs are knee pads, scrap leg guards, and now our chitinous armor. So, I would actually prefer to take off the leg guards. We really don't need to. The stacking warmth might be an issue. These are very warm. Let's lose the scrap leg guards. I think the chitinous leg guards are fine for the time being. So we'll lose the leg guards. 
and we'll check just to, just to make sure everything else is fine. We're wearing flame-resistant socks and boots. We can lose the flame-resistant socks because they probably have a lot of warmth. Warmth of five, actually not that much. And the boots, I would love to replace the boots, but anything we make... Well, let's look at the boots. We can make chitin boots if we wanted to. Let's have a look at our boots real quick. Uh, boots, 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 boots. 12 encumbrance, 6 and 6. And we'll check chitin. Chitin is boots. 14 encumbrance, 12 and 16. I mean, it's such a marginal difference. It's very slightly more encumbrance for much more protection. How often do we get hit in the feet, though? Really never. And that slight encumbrance affects our movement speed. I think boots are fine. I think that's fine. We could put on gloves as well, but I really don't like wearing gloves in the game. Just in general, because I hate gloves in real life. And because they have encumbrance and things. Um, I think this is fine. We could throw on a Kevlar vest. What is our torso encumbrance? 26. Yeah, give me... Didn't I wash a Kevlar vest? No, it's fine. We don't need one. Chitinous armor is acceptable. It's not... The Kevlar is better. Like, wearing both is better. But just wearing this is fine. And it's not like we've been in any dangerous health situation recently. I think we're fine. Anyway, I think we should probably wrap the episode. Yeah, I'd like to play Alien Isolation. I'm a big fan of those games. I'd have to install it and my internet sucks. So it would take like a full day to install it. Maybe that's something. I'm going to keep that on the radar. But I don't want to say, hey, I'm going to play this. And then turn out to not play it. So um, anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me as I talk about YouTube stuff. I really need to stop doing that. Because I think people want to hear about like me. And they want to hear about Cataclysm. They don't want to hear me talk about other games on YouTube. Uh, no one wants to know how the sausage gets made. If you're familiar with that expression. Anyway, that's going to do it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, maybe consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. All those things really help the content get out there and get in front of more people, which is something that is a big goal of mine. And uh, so I'll be back with more Cataclysm in the near future, of course, and I will see you in the next episode.